Hello, my Cancers, and welcome to your love mid-month reading for the month of April. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at a feminine energy. We're going to look at the masculine energy. We're going to look at where your energies are meeting, and we're going to see how April progresses for you too. And we're also, I also wanted to put in a side note that you can use your sun, your moon, or your Venus signs when we're doing our love reads, and so you can check out other videos if this one does not resonate and not all of the messages will resonate. So you take what resonates and you leave what doesn't, but I'm tr going to try to relay every single message that spirit is putting in my head. So just bear with me as I try to get all the messages out for every single person that is watching this cancer video. And I would just like to also mention that just because you are a man does not mean that you will be on the masculine side. Some men have more of feminine energy towards love and vice versa. Some women could be on the masculine side because they have more of a masculine energy towards love. So what we're going to do is we're going to see where your two energies are at right now. And we're going to see what's going on for the month of April for my cancers in love. Let's see what's going on for my Cancers. Let's see what's going on for my Cancers. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Okay, Cancer. So on my feminine side, ooh, very nice. We have the Empress. This would be Nurture, card number three. Looks like my feminine's been putting a lot of work into her. And then on my masculine side, we have control. This would be strength. And you could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with a Taurus Leo we have coming out. Okay. So what I see here is that the feminine energy has been doing a lot of nurturing. She's been... You know, she's been working on her creativity, like her love... She knows she's abundant, my feminine. She knows that she has everything to offer. And she's working on herself. She's working on being more supportive to her and others. She's working on nurturing herself and other people, which is awesome energy, my feminine cancers. So for my masculine cancer, I feel as though if you're resonating with the masculine side, your energy is pulled back. I see you controlling yourself. I see you controlling your energy. I see you not um, putting so much energy into love. We're going to find out why. So let's see here. Maybe something happened to my feminine, I mean my masculine, which caused him to pull back his energy towards his love life. We're going to see here why... Everything is happening. So let's see here. Why do we have these cards for my cancers? What other messages do we have for my cancers in love for April? My cancers in love for April. Well, it could also be that the feminine energy has been spending so much time nurturing herself that the masculine energy has no choice but to pull back. Because Empress energy is very, very very self-nurturing so when you're focusing on self-nurturing yourself a lot of people might feel left out let's see here why is this happening for my cancers and love april love for my cancers april love for my cancers thank you spirit all right cancer underneath my feminine energy we have the devil and we also have the moon. Okay, okay. It looks like it took my Cancer Feminine a long time to get to that Empress energy, but congratulations because you're there. Awesome. Okay, so underneath my Masculine energy with Control, we have the Six of Swords. And we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, yeah, that's what I felt in the beginning. So I feel as though if you are single, then I feel as though this is going to be a month of nurturing, a big month of nurturing, a huge month on finding yourself and a big rest of the month of really self-reflecting cancer. 
So what I see on my feminine side is that whoever this energy is, so if you're in union and you two are having a little bit of a power play action happening here, I feel as though the feminine energy has just recently found her worth and the masculine energy doesn't really know how to deal with that because I feel as though the feminine energy she used to be very tempted and she used to like hide her emotions or feel the need to hide her emotions from whomever this masculine energy is coming through so this could be somebody that you're separated from because I really don't see these two people um coming together that much but we're gonna see as the month progresses Cancer. So on my side of my feminine, I feel as though you've been like, it took you a while to, you know, really look within, really confront your feelings for, um, maybe you've been having feelings for people who aren't that great for you, Cancer. Um, and I just feel as though you're really tempted by this person, but I feel as though this person is pulling back their energy anyways, because they feel as though like they want to move into calmer waters with this feminine energy but I just feel like the feminine energy is just busy working on herself and I feel as though the masculine energy feels a bit betrayed by her because he isn't getting the reaction from her I feel as though he's pulling back his energy because the feminine energy is just not doing what he thought she would do. I feel as though he thought she would be more in this devil moon energy where she's easily tempted, easily swayed, but instead the feminine is like, no, I'm the empress. Sorry. <laughs> That's exactly what I see. Um, so I do see here that if you are resonating with the masculine side, that this empress I feel as though she really has had strong feelings for this person in the past, but now she's a little bit focusing on her. And I feel as though the masculine side, you are going to be getting new energy once you do do this pullback from her. It may not come as fast as you thought, but it'll come. But you have no choice. You have no choice. If you do pull back from an energy, you are welcoming in another energy. So let's see what else is coming out here for my cancers for the for April. Love. I look I honestly feel like for cancer, the rest of April is like a huge focus on loving yourself and nurturing yourself. Because when we do love readings, it's not always about another person. You need to understand that love stems from you. So the energy that sometimes comes out in the cards and you're like, well, what do you mean no one's coming in for me? It's like, well, not every moment someone's coming in for you. Sometimes you need to put the work and the love into you. So I feel as though, Cancer, you may be needing to do that, but... We're going to see how the month progresses now that we have everyone's energy up. Let's see how the energy is for the remaining weeks of April and love for my cancers. April and love for my cancers. April and love. Okay. Let's see what messages we have here. Cancer. On my feminine side, I see the King of Wands. Yes! Ugh. This feminine is in her power. In her power. Yes, she's in her power. Underneath this feminine, we have the Emperor. Whoa. There's a lot of fire energy in this reading, Cancer. Uh, under Oh, in the middle, in your mutual energy, we have the Three of Swords. Wow. So I believe that this... Whoever is resonating with this reading, you're most likely in separation with this person or have just separated or have like, if you're in a union right now, you guys may have like had some type of 
I think it's just a huge power play here where I feel as though someone, the, the feminine is really trying to take back her power oh, tremendously from this masculine. And underneath this masculine, we have the Ten of Cups. Okay. And the Ace of Wands. Okay, okay. So, I do see here a lot of fire. So much passion here. So, my feminine energy, you are are sitting in your power over this devil and this moon energy. You are confronting your feelings. You are not being tempted by this masculine anymore. I feel as though you're like, I don't want to be tempted by you anymore. Like, I want to sit in my power. You can come to me. I'm not coming to you. I'm going to nurture myself. And girl, or girl, whomever is on the feminine side is going to work because he's coming. This masculine side looks at this feminine as... His wish, uh, not his wish fulfillment, as his emotional fulfillment, which in turn could be his wish fulfillment, especially with this Ten of Cups here. You two have both equally brought each other hurt because you both are feeling hurt. J doesn't mean that this person betrayed this person super horribly and this person betrayed this person super horribly. You could have self-inflicted hurt by putting expectations on each other. So I do feel as though you both, equally share her over this union and I feel as though you both want to make it work I feel as though the the feminine does want to make it work with this masculine but she wants it to be different she wants it to be like she wants to be more of the king of wands and the emperor like now that both of these now that we're pulling out more cars I am being guided to say that the feminine the masculine you could be either or Especially now that this feminine energy is really trying to take on this king and the emperor energy. This strongly could be a masculine energy coming out on this side as well. Like if you're a man and you feel like, wait, I feel like I'm resonating with the feminine side. You could be on this side. Please do not think just because you are man or female, you have to resonate with feminine and masculine energy. Everyone has different energies in towards their love lives. So, moving on here, I do feel as though this uh, energy of my masculine, he really does look at this woman as his emotional fulfillment, and I feel as though he's going to be coming towards her as mo as the month progresses. So, there may have been a little bit of a, a pause, a break to this union, if you guys are in separation. Or if you even are in union, something could have happened where you both were just like, wait, hold on. Like, I need to pull back. I feel as though the masculine side pulled back because of the feminine side. I don't feel like he pulled back his energy voluntarily. I feel as though he kind of had no choice because of how strongly this feminine wants to sit in her power. And she is sitting in it heavily. Heavily. And... One that once you you know get rid of this devil and this moon and I'm not saying that those are horrible energies it's just like temptation and kind of like hidden secrets with the moon you know like hiding your feelings this feminine could have been doing a lot towards this person but now I feel as though she's sitting in her power in a very fire sign way so I see the Cancer feminine you guys are taking on that. Emperor, King of Wands energy, with that Empress energy, wow. So I do see here that the uh, masculine is going to be offering a Ace of Wands. So I do believe as though that he is going to be coming towards his feminine in a passionate way. That may not be what she wants. I mean, I feel like she does want something but maybe she wants more of nurturing and more of stability opposed to flirty energy if that is like me sense okay so we're gonna move on here and i also do feel as though this feminine does have very strong feelings for this masculine and she's been just trying to hold them deep 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 within her and instead, she's confronting them now, and she's 
I feel like as though as the Cancer Feminine, like, you guys are really looking within and f being like, okay, you know what? I do have feelings for this person, but I can't let them do me this way. I need to become this person. And I feel as though you're going to become that king of wands and that emperor as april progresses and you will be sparking that flame over here they will not be controlling themselves much longer <laughs> all right what else do we have here for my cancers for april for april in love for the remaining weeks of april for my cancers the remaining weeks of april for my cancers okay Hey. Thank you, Spirit. So, underneath my King of Wands, we have the moon again. Wow, yes. This feminine, you have a lot of feelings for this masculine. But, you know, you are becoming the King of Wands over these feelings. Like, this is kudos to you and underneath the emperor on my feminine side we have the seven of cups okay yes that would explain why you have such deep feelings you want to be oh you want to sit in your power over your feelings for this masculine but you are consistently confused because of your feelings so that's great <laughs> um underneath three of Swords, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Underneath the Ten of Cups, we have the Eight of Cups. And underneath the Ace of Wands, we have the Six of Wands. Okay, Cancer. I felt this way before. I do not feel as though the masculine is going to be coming towards the feminine in an emotional way, in a stable way. He's coming with this Ace of Wands, especially now that we have it uh, clarified by this Six of Wands. He's coming with this Ace of Wands to the Six of Wands. He wants your attention again. You stopped giving him attention. Probably maybe a little bit flirty sexual attention. It seems like you might pulled back from and It looks like the masculine is wanting it once again, and I feel as though The feminine is just confused like she just doesn't know what to do I feel as though as April progresses the feminine is going to be consistently sitting in her power but just so word of advice for my cancer feminines who are resonating with this side you have the moon here twice which strongly means that you have to confront your feelings and you need to once you confront you can release not saying that you want to get over this person but once you confront how strongly your feelings are then you will be able to slowly but surely release them. But if you're not going to acknowledge that they're there you're going to have the moon come up on your side like all the time and it's also I wanted to point out I know people like the zodiac signs the moon came out twice which would be um cancer your home home sign actually well your home planet the moon can also represent Pisces in the tarot it could also rep I look at the moon as cancer too in the tarot and I also see here Leo is coming out strongly. Aries is coming out strongly. I see Earth here. Taurus or Capricorn specifically. But I just feel as though this feminine is so tempted by this masculine that she's just like, I just, I just can't do it anymore. But... This is where I'm in eh, with this masculine energy over here. We have the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So it looks like he looks at this feminine as his emotional fulfillment, but it is not that hard for him to detach his feelings. So just make sure, feminine, when this person is coming towards you, because of the temptation you feel towards them, 
you most likely will probably accept their ace of wands but just keep in mind that they want more of a atten they give me an attention attention seeker vibe i don't know why sorry masculine cancers but it's like when you're not getting the attention it's like the world is ending and they they're like well i know this one has the moon twice for me so but I just feel as though you both are sharing the Queen of Pentacles with the Three of Swords. So it's like you both are hurt over this union, but you both are focusing on yourself and your coin as well. Or you both could be hurt over a job situation. Maybe you both separately have some sort of financial things happening to you right now that are causing you some type of internal pain but I do see here that the three of swords can also be here because this masculine is hurt because of this feminine not dropping everything for him anymore I feel as though she used to do that in the past and now that she's not it's causing him to have a bit of a a distressed ego. Especially with this ace to the six of wands. He's offering this wand for his own attention seeking matter. So for my masculines that are on my... For my cancers that are on my masculine side resonating the most. I would uh, advise you approach this feminine in a new way. And try to... Also confront your feelings too. Because especially with that control, this person's controlling their feelings, their actions, everything. So if you want this feminine to kind of, you know, do more of what you want, you have to approach her in a better way. And feminine cancers, it's your choice on what you do. But you have a masculine energy coming for you. I don't feel as though this is a new person. I feel as though this is somebody that either you have been with before in the past. Maybe a energy that you have been separated from. But you all have free will. Just, I would always advise everybody to live their lives with um, compassion and, you know, more understanding. So... Sometimes you have to understand that, like, on my feminine cancers, like, maybe this masculine doesn't want to be drowned in emotion. So that's why they always come with this passion. And I, maybe this, maybe my feminine cancer doesn't always want passion. Maybe they want some love. Maybe they want some emotion. Maybe they want an offer of stability. So whether you're resonating with my feminine or my masculine, I do see... An offer being given, and I do see it's going to cause some type of confusion to my Cancer Feminine, but, you know, you do as you please. This is no type of do this, do that, do this. Because you honestly never know. Energy changes so quickly, so maybe this person will... Offer an ace now and a cup later. We'll have to see in your May love reading. But thank you for joining my love reading this month, Cancers. And I look forward to hearing your feedback. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great month.